Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. We need Jesus. What we're looking for is Jesus. The meaning in life is Jesus. The purpose of life is Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. The God, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Jesus made us. Jesus, Jesus is God. He's the creator in Genesis 1. That's Jesus. He made us. He made the world. He loves us. And uh, we were made, the Bible says we were made by Jesus and for Jesus. So we won't be complete. We won't be complete until we give our life to Jesus. And I was just thinking about people that I know, or if I don't know, just, I, I really care about people that they know Jesus. And I was listening to a song about, uh, I don't know, our meaning is in Jesus, our purpose is in Jesus, and I want people to know Jesus and to give their life to Jesus. Like, ask, seek, and knock, beg, plead. Like, ask Jesus and don't stop until he saves you. And we don't need, we don't need, like, God may not fix our situation. He may not change our situation. But if you have Jesus living in you, in your situation, you'll be okay. If you have Jesus living in you, you'll be okay. And you have to give Jesus your life for him to come live in you through his Holy Spirit. And uh, in the Bible, it talks about a, somebody says, you know, if somebody, the Bible's not enough, the Bible's not enough, but if somebody rose from the dead then people would believe in Jesus. They wouldn't go to hell. People wouldn't go to hell. They would believe in Jesus and go to heaven. If somebody rose from the dead and told people about heaven and hell, Jesus tells that story. And it's interesting because someone did rise from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead and people still don't believe and the Bible points us to Jesus to give us, to give our lives to Jesus. And I was reading in the Bible and there is, uh, sorry, I'm thinking, um, Jesus cares about us. Jesus cares about us. He tells a parable Jesus tells a story where he sends, like, God sends prophets and apostles and pastors and teachers and evangelists. God sends people, and his people, like, people don't listen to him. And last of all, God sends his son, and they kill his son and throw him out of the vineyard. So, like... God loves us so much that he sends people to us. He gives us the Bible. He gives us like teachers, like he gives us worship music. He gives us all this stuff. And finally he says, I'm going to send them my only begotten son. That's how much I love them. I'm going to send my only begotten son and whoever believes in him, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And if you give your life to Jesus, you'll get, you'll, if you give your life to Jesus, you'll get Jesus in your heart. And no matter what situation you're in, you'll be okay because you have Jesus living in you. So we need Jesus. God loves us so much that he came down himself so that we wouldn't go to hell. So that we wouldn't go to hell. And, um...
Yeah. Um, I Jesus loves us, and Jesus is God, and oh, and He wept over Jerusalem. It says He wept over Jerusalem because they wouldn't believe in Him, and P. This is an urgent message, an important message, an urgent message. Give your life to Jesus or go to hell. You either make Jesus the king of your life, you stop, you repent of your sin, like I'm done sinning. Jesus, I will do whatever you want me to do. You give your life to Jesus. And you keep asking Jesus until he saves you until G Jesus is your king. So give your life to Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus.